Hey guys, how's it going? It's Joy. I'm back with another video. So let's get into the readings. I'm going to be starting October, you guys. Readings, it's a little early, right? But why not? Let's get it out there. So let's see what messages and what guidance do we have. I want to start with... This is still Virgo season, so let's do Virgo, and then we'll do Libra, then we'll do Scorpio. We'll go like that, so. All right, we're going to do Virgo first since it's technically still Virgo season. Um, all right, so what's up, Virgo? What do we have for you guys? Messages, happy birthday, if it's your birthday, if you're a Virgo. This is for October, for the first half of October, October 1st through the 15th. All right, so... Um, I have several giveaways that I have going on. It's going to be in the description box. So the first giveaway is going to be for my inspired um, writers. Um, I'm giving away two journals. These are super cute. Um, follow your dreams, you guys, for my inspired writers. All right, definitely. If you want to enter in to win, I'm choosing a winner at the end of the month. Well, two winners. <laughs> All right. Um, also, I'm giving away five white sage incense sticks. Uh, for those of you that like the smell of a nice, lovely house <laughs> um, that like uh, purification and cleansing in your home. Um, very good scent to inhale, to breathe. Um, definitely enter to win for my White Sage instance. Incense Sticks. I'm choosing five winners for that. Last but not least, I'm giving away a Modern Witch Tarot deck. All right, you guys. Super cute. Um, you know, for my inspired readers, um, definitely check this out. Leave a comment below. First, you have to like and subscribe to my channel. You have to like this video, subscribe, and leave a comment. Say, I want to enter tarot deck, or I want to enter journal, or I want to enter white sage, okay? Also, I am selling two laptops. So if you guys want information on that, um, definitely email me. And last but not least, if you are waiting for a personal private reading, um, those usually take up to 48 to 72 hours. If you're waiting for an emergency reading, um, that takes 24 hours. Same thing with twin flame readings. Um, one to five question reads or uh, 15 minute reading, 30 minute reading, 45 minute reading, and 60 minute reading, okay? All right, so let's get some messages for my beautiful Virgos. What's up, Virgo? Here you are, Virgo. All right. Maybe you are trying to find balance in a situation, Virgo, or you're being patient. Maybe you want to reconcile with someone. Maybe you have some underlining emotions and feelings. Maybe you're not revealing to someone, or maybe this is someone doing this to you. This could You could feel this way about the cross watcher or cross watcher. You feel this way about the Virgo. All right, so let's see here. Messages, let's get the recent past energy, the present energy, the future energy, your challenge, and your potential outcome for Virgos for the first half of October. All right. And the potential outcome, please. For my beautiful Virgos. My beautiful Virgos. All right, just wanted to check something, you guys. All right. Hopefully you guys are having a great Sunday or whenever you view this. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. All right, so there we go. Okay, so interesting. So the Eight of Cups. So I don't know if this is you, Virgo, or I don't know if this is someone else, but I feel like someone's walking away from a relationship that's no longer serving them. All right, it could have been something that you were holding on to, Virgo, or someone else was holding on to, but I feel like um, there's a need to let go and walk away. I feel like some of you guys are still trying to manifest a situation or, you know, you're going to be bringing in something that you really want. Okay, or this is so you know, this is your advice that you can manifest what it is that you want, you know what I mean? To stay focused and stay positive. But I, I get that someone could be holding on to a situation that maybe they need to walk away from or something like that because I feel like something isn't working out, or someone doesn't want to work on something, or someone doesn't want to fix it. So let's take a look here. All right, so we got the four swords 
for the recent past between you and someone else. Or this could resonate if you're single and it may or may not resonate. This could be happening to a friend or a family member. This may not be your direct story, but if it does resonate, that's great. If not, take it if it fits. All right, so we have the Queen of Pentacles for the present energy. Capricorn energy there, the Page of Swords in the reverse for the future energy. We have the Two of Pentacles as a challenge, and we have the Three of Wands for the potential outcome here. <clears throat> uh, Aries Leo Sag. Let me get a drink of water. So, interesting. So, Virgo, I don't know if you, like, put a situation to rest or someone put the situation to rest. I feel like you're retreating from a situation or someone retreated from you. I feel like something could be over. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Give me one second, Virgo. My bad. All right, I'm back, you guys. <laughs> Thanks for understanding. So we have the Queen of Pentacles here. So it looks like someone's holding on to what it is that they have. Or this is you, Virgo. You're holding on to your money. Um, or this is someone that you're dealing with. You could see this person as a mother figure. Um, they are probably helpful, caring. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, this is someone that you could be married to. Or something like that, Virgo. Or this is you here. You're holding on to your money. You're staying focused on your work. You know, doing your home duties. Um, with the Page of Swords in a reverse. So I don't know if someone's watching you. Um, at a distance, someone could be stalking you. Just saying. Um, they may be saying some not so good things. I'm just throwing it out there. Um, they may be gossiping about you. Or this is you doing this to, about someone else. <laughs> um... Your challenge is, is you're going back and forth about a situation. Like you're juggling. I don't know if it's two people, two places, two situations or something like that. You're trying to figure out what to do. Like I feel like there's a need to find balance here, Virgo. It's like you're all over the place. Um, but with the three of wands in a reverse, I feel like you're done waiting on a situation. You know, like you could have been in suspension. You could have been hopeful. But I, I feel like you're you're letting something go. You're no longer waiting for something or someone's no longer waiting for you. You know, it's like there's a need to like find a new opportunity or do something new or something like that. All right, so let's take a look here. Why is this, um, excuse me, why is this four of swords here, please, for Virgos in the recent past? Yeah, something about, um, someone walked away from a relationship and someone else is like kind of angry about it, or maybe this already happened, or this could be happening to someone around you. But let's see, why is this, uh, four of swords here? Yeah, the Page of Cups. I feel like someone could have turned down an offer or, you know, there could be a breakup, you know, or someone could have rejected a love offer or rejected a, a third party situation or rejected a, a friendship offering. Or it could have been like not even a relationship, it could have just been a peace offering and maybe you just retreated from that or you retreated from a relationship because some of you guys want a new love or your person wants a new love. They want a new start. Or someone could just want to be happy. Someone just wants to be successful here. Why is this a uh, queen of pentacles here? Okay, so these cards came out. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we got the full card. So I do feel like someone wants to take a risk. Or someone took a risk. Um, you know, uh, someone just wants to start over, start fresh. Um, I feel like someone could have made this decision. Um, someone could have cut something out and, you know, decided that... Um, you know, someone spoke their truth that they that they wanted to start over, like they want a new relationship or something like that. And yeah, but I do see here that someone's coming to a realization that, you know, they maybe want to reconcile and want a second chance here. You could be dealing with the Scorpio, a Aries, or a Capricorn. Or a Libra. Why is this page of swords here for the um the future energy? Yeah, something about um a reconciliation was turned down and someone um, could be a little bit upset about that because we got the three of cups in a reverse or this is like a lifestyle that you guys have to stop being so maybe a lot of you guys could drink a lot or it's just the way that you live your life. I'm getting that there's a need to um, to kind of be open to a different type of way of living, you know, 
Um, but this also could have been, you know, there's an ending to a third party situation or there's an ending to, you know, a reconciliation with someone. I'm getting that someone turned it down. Because I feel like someone made a decision to cut something out or they just spoke their truth and, you know, they just took a risk. Or this was someone that was foolish or something because I, I got two queens here. So someone could have been dealing with two queens. All right, and they're realizing that that probably wasn't the best idea to do or they're realizing that they want both of them so they're trying to get both of them back or something like that that's not for everybody or this could be you virgo if you're a female virgo you could be go from going in between two type of personalities where like you're clear cut you're making a decision you know you're making head over heart decisions and then you go back to loving and caring and you know the kind of person people can come to you for advice and help or this could be a male as well energies could go either way but someone's coming, somebody's having like some sort of realization, like someone wants to make a judgment call or something like that. Someone wants to take a risk. I'm picking up different stories though. Why is this uh, two of pentacles here, please? Someone's going back and forth. This is a challenge. Someone's going back and forth about, yeah, because somebody feels like something was unjust or unfair here. Um, this is your challenge. You could be dealing with the Libra. Could have something to do with the court situation. Someone could have felt like somebody, somebody could have felt like they got mistreated or something isn't right. This is a challenge is to make something right, to bring it back, balance it out. Why is this three of wands here for the potential outcome? And this is for October the 1st through the 15th for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Why is the three of wands here, please, in the reverse for Virgo? Yeah, because I feel like somebody could be refusing to see something clearly here. I don't know if this is you, Virgo, or someone else. Like, somebody could have, like, your intentions may not be as clear, or someone's refusing to see the reality of a situation. I don't know if this is you or someone else. Let me get one more. Yeah, like, um, someone is a player. <laughs> the Knight of Wands, this is either on your end or your person's end. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Someone is like, they don't want to commit. Like, you're refusing to see this Virgo or someone else's. Yeah, because something is not over. It has something to do with the Taurus or a commitment. There's a, like, someone needs to learn a lesson here. And it, it's because, like, there's a breakup with the Two of Cups in a reverse. It's like something isn't working out. Someone needs to learn a lesson or something like that. Yeah. All right. So let's see here. Let's get some um, advice and then we will take this over to the extended. It's so like somebody is refusing to change or something like that, change their ways. Or yes, yeah, someone's refusing to learn a lesson. It's like somebody wants a second chance, but it's like they're just kind of being foolish. All right, so let's see. What's the advice here for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or for the cross watcher? What's the advice for Virgo, please? Yeah, someone's refusing to change their ways. Like someone's being stubborn. Yeah, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, empathy, upheaval, transformation. Yeah, there could be a change, though. So... Because uh, we had, we do have the judgment card. So, yeah, there's definitely shocking news coming for either you or someone else, Virgo. Something's going to be made clear here. Advice for Virgo. Unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. So someone's needing to learn unconditional love, self-love for themselves. Let's see. Two more cards for Virgo for October the 1st through the 15th. Yeah, someone doesn't feel good enough. Frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, and ego issues, jealousy. Someone um, feels not enough. So then maybe this is why someone keeps acting out in a player is player ways because they don't feel good enough or something like that. Or someone may want to come charging in towards you but it's like they're not here to stay you know so i think that's why some of you guys you could have cut someone out and you made that decision 
you know, and you're focused on yourself and someone wants to take a risk. See? The snake, competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. Yeah, there could definitely be another person involved or someone that you're dealing with is, um, you know, your enemy. But we got engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. So you guys are definitely going to be getting this, but you may have to close out a cycle, Virgo. So, yeah, I'd like to take this over to the extended to see um, what's going to happen overall. What's going to be the outcome? What action steps does this person want to take towards you or you vice versa? First of Virgo, like what action steps you want to take towards your person? Um, what's the intentions? What's going to happen? Um, what's hidden in this connection? What's blocking this connection? What's the outcome going to be? And if you decide to um, move on, what you can expect in your love life within the next three to six months? And who's coming towards you and how they're going to be feeling about you, okay? So I hope that that makes sense, you guys. And I hope that you guys have a great day. All right. Bye, Virgo. Love you so much.